Hey guys, this is Garth Harris, Vice President of Product Innovation, and today is a Cake Basic video that is focused on the tracking, setup, and configuration. So in our first video, if you saw that, we went through the basic workflow and configuration. This is the second video to this series, which is where we're going to show you four primary steps. The first step is going to be offer landing page configuration to make sure that we are passing all the right values to your advertiser on the landing page, generating a tracking link for your affiliate, generating a conversion pixel for your advertiser, and then lastly we're going to test it just to show you how to track a click and how to test your conversion pixel to, to ensure that you know where to go to look for all that in the system. All right, let's go ahead and dive back into the system and pick up where we left off last time. If you remember, we built out a new offer for the retail e-commerce vertical. And we're going to go ahead and look for that offer by clicking on Advertisers on the main tab and then clicking on Offers in that dropdown. This will take us to the Offers grid where we can open up our offer and configure the landing page URL. Alright, we found our offer, open that card up. And we see that our landing page URL, which typically as a network, is a tracking link of sorts that your advertiser is providing to you with default parameters. And it's your responsibility to configure that landing page with the right parameter tokens that I'll show you in just a second. So as you can see, our landing page URL has a couple parameters and I've pre-populated the tokens in there. But I'm going to show you how to edit that and how to find the tokens. So we're going to go ahead and click Edit, which will take us to the Landing Pages tab of the offer card. And now we can edit the URL. So there's two parameters that I'm using as an example, which are pretty typical that we see um, just in support and training and account management in general. So the first being a session ID. Now session IDs come by many names. It could be a click ID, it could be a transaction ID. Uh, we call it the request ID at Cake, and essentially it is that unique ID that our platform generates during a click. And the reason why we generate this click ID of sorts is for cookie-less tracking. Now best practices is always going to be to do post-back URL tracking or server-to-server -server tracking. And this ID gets generated by the platform, and we pass it along to the advertiser just in case there is no cookie. So iframe pixels, JavaScript pixels, image pixels, they work when the cookie is present. But as you may know, the cookies may not always be present, either because of privacy updates to browsers or because user configuration on their browsers. So in this case, we see that there is a parameter for that, and we have placed in the request ID token, which is the same thing as our session ID. Now we also see a source ID. Now this also may come in a sub ID parameter by your advertiser. It may be called affiliate ID. There's a lot of platforms out there that use a lot of different parameter names. And so essentially you need to work with the advertiser to figure out what are you expecting on this particular parameter. In this case, the source ID is referring to your source. And that source is the affiliate. And so we have the affiliate ID token in here and that will allow us to pass the affiliate ID dynamically on every click, because this offer may have more than one affiliate driving traffic to it. And the way we found those tokens is by hovering over Setup and going to Show Tokens. And here we have a list of our tokens, and if you have any uh, questions around which token to use, please refer to our knowledge base, or you can always submit a ticket uh, to our support team, and we'll help you out the best we can. All right, that is step one. The next step is going to be to generate a tracking link for your affiliate. So on this offer, if you remember, we added a campaign for affiliate one. So here we have the campaign directly found on the offer card, and I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And on the home tab of the campaign card, we can generate a unique link right here. Every unique link is going to have a creative ID parameter in there. Now, when we built the offer, we had the option of adding lots of creatives, but by default, the offer will come with one creative. So in this dropdown, 
We'll go ahead and select this value and click Next. And now we have our unique link. Now what I typically do if I'm testing a new offer for somebody, um, I'm going to take that tracking link, I'm going to put it aside in a notepad so that I can use it at a later date for testing my, uh, my campaign. So I've already done that. I've placed my tracking link in a notepad and it's ready to go. Okay, so step two is done. So we've configured our landing page URL and we've generated our tracking link. Step three is to generate a conversion pixel for your advertiser. Now we can actually go back to that offer card, click out of the campaign card, and go to the home tab of the offer. This is where we can find the pixel. The pixel is what you give to your advertiser so that when the user completes whatever that action is, whether it's a download or a purchase or a newsletter sign up, uh, whatever that email submit, there are a lot of different ways in which advertisers track conversions. So this is how that happens. We generate a pixel and we give it to our advertiser. Now every advertiser will be different. Go ahead and click next. And now we have our list of advertisers. And what I mean by every advertiser is different is that each advertiser will support different things. So if they're using a tracking platform like Cake, they will support a post back URL or a server to server call. If they own the landing page and they don't have um, a savvy back-end system, they may only support an iframe pixel or a JavaScript pixel. So if they can't support a post back URL, go ahead and select that iframe at the very top, just copy it, and send it off to your advertiser as is, and you should be fine. It'll track any time there is a cookie present and the user machine, the user's computer loads and it, we find a cookie. But like we mentioned, that's not always going to be the case. So we'll get this post back URL. I'm also going to put that in my notepad so I can show you how we're going to test this scenario in just a second. Okay, so we configured our landing page. We're passing the request ID in a post back URL situation where we're having our advertiser use the post back URL. We're passing our request ID on the redirect using that pound rec ID pound token. And so that landing page is all configured, as we can see here on the right hand side of the card. We have our tracking link that we're going to give to our affiliate, and we now have our post back URL ready to go. So the final step in testing this campaign, just so that you can see the click being generated, the conversion being uh, tracked, and then ultimately going to the reports so that you can actually see the clicks and the conversions. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of all this. And I'm going to take my tracking link as is and pop it into my browser here. All right. So now I have my, um, my tracking link in the browser URL and I can configure it with a test S1 value. That S1 value is not for your affiliate but for your affiliate's traffic source. So we call that a sub-affiliate. So this is where your affiliate would populate that value for you. Um, so typically this is not coming from you, this is coming from your affiliate. Um, so you could put a value in there if you wanted to, just to test, but for our purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. All right, so we have done the redirect. So Cake went from tracking link to landing page URL. And as you can see, we're on the website and we have generated this session ID, uh, which our advertiser has called it, which is the cake request ID, and we also passed in that source ID value. All right, so affiliate one, the affiliate that we created, was ID two in cake because we already had a test affiliate before that. So that is the ID of the affiliate in our platform. All right, so now we're gonna actually test as if the advertiser was tracking a conversion Again, just so that you can see where things are all happening in the platform and make sure your, your campaign is working fully. So I'm actually gonna take this request ID here and I'm gonna put it into my post back URL in the R equals parameter. I'm looking at my notepad right now. All right. So I'm going to replace this redirect URL with the post back. 
All right. So now we have our cookie domain, our post back URL all configured. And as you can see here, we have this R equals parameter. So Cake generated the request ID on the click. We passed it to the advertiser in their session ID parameter. And now the advertiser is going to pass it back to us in this R equals parameter. And that will create the full loop. So we're connecting the dots between click and now conversion. All right, I'm actually going to populate that value into this URL. I've hit enter. And as you can see, there's actually a browser response that we're seeing here, which is an XML response. Typically, you're not going to see this because it's a server communicating to the cake server. But for testing purposes, uh, we actually display the browser response just so that you can see that it worked. So our post back URL fired off and we have a success message. But now we're actually going to go back into cake and I want to show you where to find your click and where to find your conversion just so that you can get that confidence that your campaign is working. So going back to the, cam the cake tab, I'm going to go to my reports. Now, I, I happen to be on the advertiser main tab on the report section. The affiliate main tab has its own report section as well. But as you can see here, if I uh, actually bump this up, we have a few clicks. I had done a few test clicks, and I have one paid conversion. So now we can see that we have that $16 cost that I added for my campaign. The conversion tracked. It's all real time. And that is the full cycle of testing your campaign. Now, obviously, um, that doesn't actually prove that the advertiser has placed the post back URL successfully. But what it does show you is how to configure everything to make sure that everything is set up correctly on your side. Ultimately, you want to give your advertiser the post back URL and perform a full end to end test before you actually set your campaign live with your affiliates. All right, guys, that is the tracking and configuration portion of this Cake Basic workflow series. Uh, the first video, which we will reference here, is actually the getting started workflow. And the second video in the series is the configuration of your landing page, generating your tracking link, generating your conversion pixel, and ultimately testing your campaign to make sure that it works well. All right, guys, thank you so much. If you have any questions, let us know. Reach out to support at support at and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much.